Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and this is Nico and all of his information will be right up here. He is the Ava and he is just a stunning baby. I did always want an Ava and I saw this one on Reborns.com and I wanted it so bad but all I seen was boy when I got him. That's all I seen. So we've got a little boy and he is just gorgeous and my husband came up with the name Nico. I think that's perfect for him. It is. He's just cute. The Ava is such a beautiful baby. It really is a beautiful sculpt. It's just gorgeous and just that smile and the look of it. He's just stunning. Look at him. I'll show you more when I go over to the table, but isn't he cute? Look at him. They did his paint job so realistic. He's very realistic looking and I just love him. Look at that hair. See, it just was so boy to me, the way even the hair was done. It just looks so boy to me. So we've got a little boy here and he's just staring up there at you guys smiling. He's very happy. He ate and everything, so he's happy. How come we don't have your, oh, his bottle is there. <laughs> but where's his bottle? Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and read God's word and then we're gonna get him changed up in a cute outfit. His last summer look. We're doing all the last summer looks, as many as we can. Because, you know, I have a big collection. You guys would have seen it. As many as I can get done before um, the uh, fall hits. So however many more babies I can do with summer looks. And then we'll go into the fall. Because a lot of them got the summer looks. You guys got to see that on a lot of them. So I think some of them didn't. But some of them that didn't are getting their summer looks. So, But anyways, Nico's just going to sit here and look up. He's a very heavy baby. Uh, whoever weighted him, weighted him heavy. He's very heavy. <laughs> All right, today we're on August 22nd. Happy Thursday to all you guys. And this one is called Hidden Weakness. Blessed, let's see, make sure we read that one. Yep, so 22nd of August. Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. Psalms 41.1. Weakness in others takes all kinds of forms, and some of them are easy to overlook. Sometimes, of course, a person's weakness is obvious. A chronic illness, a physical disability, disability a destructive habit or addiction. Sometimes it is less obvious, but none less real. A tendency to make bad decisions, a personal trait that all, um, alternates others, a destructive habit no one knows about, or a destructive habit that no one knows about. And then there are the weakness, or, and then there are the weaknesses we may never detect because the person has successfully hidden them from others and even from themselves. Often those who seem to be the strongest on the outside are the weakest on the inside. But God sees our weakness and he sees the weakness in others as well. And just as he wants to help us deal with our own weakness, so he wants to help, so he wants to use us to help others deal with theirs. Ask God to make you sensitive, make you sensitive to those around you who are weak, um, uh, whatever their weakness may be, and to help them both in practical ways and by pointing them to Christ and his transformation power of love. Boy, that is a great one, you guys. That really is. How many people are dealing with hard things in their life, you know, and some things can be hidden and people can't see it. Some people can't hide it. Sometimes, you know, it's just there and you see it. But how God is asking us to, you know, we want to ask God to make us sensitive to those around us who are weak. Because there's many people that are weak. We are. There's many days that I'm very weak. And I admit that we all got our weak moments that were just weak. I mean, there's times I even get mad at God. God, why? How much do you think I can handle? You know, and then we think, you know, it's it's this world we live in. I mean, the devil's working overtime. And I've talked about that. He is. I mean, our world's coming to an end. Jesus is returning soon. We don't know what soon means, but we do know it soon by everything that's going on, you know, everything that's going on in the world. And so it is important for us to, you know, we have our weak moments, but so do other people. And we need to just try to be there and be sensitive to their needs because we've been there. We've been down that road. Um, and always think in your head too. a great one is somebody's always going through something harder than you are. We have to remember that we can't just think that, you know, God only attacks us and ours is the hardest. There's always somebody going through something even harder. So remember that. Be kind, be loving, be gentle to others, be helpful to their needs. There's times that even I, when I'm going through something, I, I ask God, God, please give me that kindness inside of me to not be so angry, to not be so mad, to be more sensitive to other people's needs, you know, and, 
and understand because we all have those weak moments. And so I even have to ask God, help me to let go and let you, God. It's let go and let God. Sometimes it's too overwhelming for us and we can't do it, so we need to let go. But, you know, that anger still comes through us sometimes because we're human flesh. Again, we all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God and we all live in glass houses. We all make mistakes. But there's where we learn by reading his word of trying something, you know, hidden weakness for hidden weakness for people trying to be there for them trying to help them and asking God to give us strength inside of us to be more gentle and kind and understanding because it might be a weakness there it's hard for them to overcome they can't do it on their own they need God too so lead them to God continue to pray for them lead them to God pray with them you know read the Bible with them do whatever you can to help them in their weak moments you know instead of getting so mad it's easier said than done. I know. I know because I'm in that situation. Easier said than done. But let's just try to help the weak. Let's try to help the weak and help ourselves even when we're in weak moments. And, you know, if you can reach out to somebody to tell them to ask to pray for you, things like that. You know, I've asked for many prayers. Thank you and continued prayers would be great. You know, be, be bold. Just ask for the prayers. You know, it doesn't hurt to ask because there's power in prayer. You guys, my lips are so dry. They are so dry get a little sip here but yeah let's be there for the week and you know and be there for people that are weak because sometimes life is tough and we're weaker than we think we are and we have a harder time overcoming that weakness so we need to give it to god wisdom for today who are we we who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak romans 5 or 15 5 help us to obey this command lord and recognize those who may be trying to disguise their weakness. Wow, that's a great one, you guys. And amen to that one. Um, you know, sometimes that's what we do. We disguise our weakness. We do. We don't have to. Be strong. You know, reach out. Ask somebody for prayer. Reach out. There's always help everywhere for everything. God supplies help everywhere. But reach out to him. Pray to him. Get on your knees. And be praying for people that are weak and need the prayer. Definitely be doing that, you know. So I like what they're saying with that verse is, we who are strong, so the strong ones, have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak. Romans 15, 5. See what God's saying? Those that are stronger help and be there for the weak. Because we've got a lot of people out there the weak. And we've got our own weak moments, don't we? We all do. All right. Start your day. Go through your day and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. Live by what he was just saying there. The weak, you know, the, the strong help the weak. Be there for the weak. And if you're weak and having a weak moment, reach out to somebody or reach out to God. The strongest one that will ever, you know, uh, what is it, Philippians 4.13, we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Let him be your strength. Let him get you through it because he will. God loves us. It's just we have to reach out. And sometimes it feels like, well, I've prayed a million times and he's not helping. I've said it myself. Where are you, God? I've prayed a million times. You're not answering. But he is his time, his way. Sometimes he says yes, no, or not now. You know, we, we're human. We don't know. And we think, well, why isn't he just answering this prayer? He could just do this and it would be all done with. No, that's not how it works. God knows what's best for us. But never, ever lose your faith. Never give up on God. Continue to seek him out and continue to be there for the week. Be there for the week and pray for them. All right, you guys. So we're going to get gorgeous, handsome little Nico. Mwah, my little gorgeous boy. Over to the changing table. Get him in a cute outfit. All right, you guys, we're back here at the changing table with Nico, and look at him. He's just smiling away. Isn't he a gorgeous baby? Oh, my gosh, he's so realistic looking. It's scary sometimes. And he's got that uh, neck ring. So one night when I got him, I was laying in bed the first night, and I kind of had him just in my arms, just laying there enjoying him watching TV, and his head turned because I moved a little bit, and his head turned and kind of freaked me out because <laughs> it's on that ring. But, oh, look at him. Look at you guys. Recently, uh... Uh, Lisa over at Nanny's Reborn did her, I believe hers is also Abby. I think hers is Abigail. I believe her Ava. And oh gosh, it's just, I love the Ava. I think a lot of people love the look of the Ava. And it is just a gorgeous baby with that smile, that sucked in lip. Just gorgeous. And this one was done, like I said, kind of with a porcelain type paint. I have to show it to you. It just made him look more real. I don't know. The color they used, whatever they used is just phenomenal. He really is. Um, he's not shiny, but some spots I feel he does have a texture feel to him. Sometimes I feel like I want to give him a, a, I think I might go over and give him a little bit still because it looks like some of his areas might be a little shiny. I don't know. I'm going to be fixing some of my babies up, but I just love, I don't, I want to protect this paint though. 
because it is so beautiful. So I, when I undo him, I'll show you guys. But anyways, this is where we're putting him in. Future MVP. That's right. He's a future MVP. And we've got new doll clothes for J Dolls UK and um, pop and tags for Lynn over at My Bella Blessings. So I'll be tagging you guys. And we're going to put him in this. It is gray. It is a little um, kind of jersey type and just a nice soft material. I think I got it from, this is also from Walmart. It's called Athletic Works. It was $2, you guys, two bucks. I paid $2 for that. Why can't you guys see that? Two bucks. Can you believe that? Two bucks. Clearanced out. And I haven't even used it yet. But it's got a hood on it. It is dark gray. It says future MVP in white. And then it's got like a red football almost. And then it's got the shorts. Isn't that cute? Look at the black, gray, and red shorts. And they're all done in, like I said, that silky material. Real nice material. The back has got a hood on it. Just adorable. So he's going to wear that. And along with that, we're gonna put him in these little black and red sandals. And I already tried them, they fit him good. I think they're a size, it says size two, but I don't know why they go on his feet so good, maybe because they're sandals. I don't know, they're just maybe a tad big, but they're gonna be so good because of the black and red. So that matches so good. So he's gonna look really cute for his last summer look. That's where we're putting him in. And he, and we're gonna keep, you know, don't need a hat or nothing, he's got that beautiful hair. Let's take your Mickey. Can I have your Mickey? Yeah, your Mickey, your Nookie, and your bottle. Look at you like that ring light. You're just saying hi, everybody. Hi, all aunties and uncles out there. Let me show you guys how beautiful he is. Look at that. I know I put him up to the camera before, but look, he's got dark chocolate eyes. Look at that paint job. He looks so real, doesn't he? God, he's stunning. Look at that hair. Whoever did that hair did a phenomenal job. But like I said, I didn't see girl when I got it because of that hair. It was in a dress, so it kind of looked like a girl. I suppose if you had it in a dress, but look at that hair. And it does look like there's a slight shine to it. Again, there isn't, but it gives it a shine because of that light. It's so weird. That light can make babies look shiny. But some are shiny and some aren't. He really isn't shiny, but in some little tiny areas. Like there, I think he's a little bit shiny, but then when I move it, he's not. So I don't know. But I'm just going to seal him. But he is gorgeous. Look at those nail beds. Look at how beautiful those nails are. Phenomenal. Look at his mottling. Look at his veining. He's a nice light baby. Look at those toes. Oh my goodness, right? Adorable baby. Look at that vein. Phenomenal. He is phenomenal. He's got a floppy head. Everything's great. And he's just, oh, I love the way he was weighted. He's heavy. He really is. Look at your aunties and uncles out there. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he look real? You guys, oh my gosh, he's so real looking. But yeah, he'll be barefoot because he's going into those sandals. And I love this outfit I had on him. So he got to have a summer look already. And so I probably should have picked a baby that didn't have. But I think most of them, when I'm looking right now, it looks like most of them, I'm trying to look right now. Yeah, pretty much all my babies, it looks like pretty much all of them had. <laughs> I think they all did. They all did get a summer look. Good. Oh, that's good. So the ones I just recently been doing were ones that didn't have the summer look. So it looks like I did get a chance to get all my babies into summer looks. Um, and some of them are long sleeve stuff, like long pants and stuff, but it was lightweight. So it might have been, see how his head turns? Might have been um, like maybe during the springtime. So at least they're outfits though that aren't wintry looking, you know. I had a few of those and we changed those ones up. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that body. He's just stuffed so good. Sometimes I think I want to unstuff him just a little bit. But then it's like, no, I just like the way he feels. I don't know. I think he would be too floppy if I did that. But maybe I might just because I like the way Nanny's is more floppy. So I might take a little bit out here. But he's just got so much glass beads in there. He's got a lot of glass beads. And he has got a booty on him. Look at that booty. Look at how cute that butt is. Yes, that butt is cute. Yes, it is. I love you too much, little guy. Yes, I do. Oh, I love the Ava. I'm just so glad I got it. I was just searching for an Ava, and I'm so glad I got this one. I mean, I couldn't be happier with this one. So, yeah, and this is a zero to three months, you guys. This outfit is a zero to three, and watch, this is going to fit him because he's a chunk. Yeah, because you're a chunk. But even if I took some out, he's still going to fit in a good. I don't know. This one just fits into zero to three really good. He also wears newborn, but, I mean, come on, this is zero to three, and look at how good that fits him. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy because mostly people, you know, that, like Lisa's only wears the newborn. I think hers only wears newborn size. And she, I think she said can wear some preemie. Popping tags here, guys. Popping tags. All right, let me pull this little tag.
big out from the inside though. And then throw this away. I got a garbage right here. Um, but yeah, I think she said hers can only fit into like newborn size, I think. She said that, uh, don't quote me if you watch this, Lisa, and I did, then you didn't say that. I can't remember. But this is a zero to three, and it's fitting him. So it could just be because his body's stuffed a little more. She said that sometimes she wants to stuff hers a little bit more. See how he turns that head. Um, and then she always says, but she likes the floppiness of it. And him, I like the way he is. Like, I, I always think sometimes I want to re-stuff him, but then I don't want to. Hi, are you looking at mommy? Yeah, let me see what the hat looks like on you. Let me see what that hat looks like on you. Adorable. Adorable. Yeah, I love that smile. Now we're going to take it down. Though. We're going to leave it off and let that cute hair show. Because mommy loves that painted hair. Yeah, you got to look at the camera. Look at that. Future MVP. He is a future MVP. Let's get his little shoes on him now. Oh my gosh. Doesn't he look like a real baby, you guys? Some of these sculpts, you guys... It is sometimes scary, depending on the way that they do the, um, the way that they do. Yeah, these are just slightly big on him, but that's okay. Um, the way that they do the, uh, the, um, painting on it, you know, they can really paint these babies to look phenomenal. They really can. Yeah, these are just slightly big on him, but that's okay. It looks really cute. Yeah, his little toes aren't really sticking through it. Kind of, they are, but you know what? I don't care. It looks cute. We're going to leave it. Because I really like the way it looks on him. He looks adorable in them. They don't look bad, you guys. I like them. Sometimes we can have a little bit bigger than what they wear. Like I said, it, it looks cute and I like it. So that's all that matters is it looks cute. It's fun. It matches. I wish they would have been a size smaller, but they're fine. They look cute. They match really good at that. And he gets to be in the little sandals and you kind of see his little toes. <laughs> Where are you looking now? Out the window? You got to look at everybody. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick changing, but you got to see little man here. You haven't seen him for a while. Here's what he looks like with his nook. Wait a minute. That thing was in the way. So that's really cute. He is definitely a nook baby. He likes his nook. He sits up there a lot of times with his nook in. But anyways, there he is, you guys. There's beautiful Nico. Beautiful Nico. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous boy. Oh, my gosh. He's adorable. Blow a kiss. Mwah. Say he loves all his aunties and uncles out there, all his grandmas and grandpas, all of his little cousins. I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember that God loves you the most, and he's wanting you to reach out to these weak people, people in their time of weakness and in need. Reach out to them. And if you're in need, and you know, reach out to God and tell people, ask for prayers and all of that. You know, that's that's what we need to do. We need to reach out to the weak. Because many of us have those weak moments. We do. We definitely have those weak moments. All right, you guys. Everybody take care. God bless. Whoops, his little thing slipped. God bless. Let's turn your head. Okay, we'll say it again. Everybody take care. God bless. And we'll see each and every one of you in our very next upload.